Uh, good evening. Um, today is Wednesday, May 16th, 2012. This is a regular board meeting of the Brownsville Navigation District, and the time is 5.36 p.m. If everyone will please rise for the invocation. Mm -hmm. Aye. <coughs> Dear Father in heaven, before whom we bow in spirit and truth, we thank you today for all your gifts that you give us, a, that give us abundantly. In our prayers today, we remember Susan Cowan and ask you to bring recovery and healing to her body. We rejoice in the continued service of those commissioners sworn in today who have been reappointed without opposition. And we pray, Father, during this election season that you would bring to the front uh, men and women, Lord, who would lead us in righteousness, peace, and joy. Father, we pray for every family at this port and that you continue to protect them and prosper them and the employers for whom they work. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness and we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. No one has signed up at this time. Item number three, consideration and action on the following consent agenda items. A, approval of the minutes of the regular board meeting of May 2nd, 2012. B, approval to authorize payments over 25,000. One, Long and Chilton LLP invoice for the annual audit and the comprehensive annual financial report for physical year 2011 in the amount of 31,000. Item C, approval of the following leases. One, JTM2 Limited Amendment. Item two, Intercoastal Salvage Inc. Camden Cargo Control Inc. Sublease. Okay. Any here, any questions on? Everything's ready. Everything good to go? Yes, sir. Some of them, Chair. Okay. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Item number four, canvas the returns of the May 12, 2012 general election. Commissioners, um, <coughs> as you know, we were able to cancel our election this year. And we had previously presented you with a certification of other post status. And we are very, very pleased to announce that the winners for our election are in place one, uh, Ralph Cowan, place three, John Lee, place five, Sergio Tito Lopez. We'll ask you to approve the canvas of the I'll make a motion to approve the uh, numbers presented. I'll second. Then move to second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item number five, receive the bonds of the winners of the May 12, 2012 general election. These bonds have already been received and I have had them got any review of so uh, there's no action that's needed to this time. They have to be received. So we don't have to take action. Okay. okay. Item number six, issue certificates of election to the winners of the May 12, 2012 general election. We have prepared certificates of election for the three winners. Uh, we, have, we have Kevin Frank as well, and we would ask that the board uh, authorize the issue of the certificates. That is a motion. That is a motion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need a motion. I'll second that. I'll make a motion. I'm sorry. Move and second it. We'll let Carlos. Commissioner yes, Lasser do it. All fair? Aye. First one is to Commissioner Cowan, but he is not here today due to a family emergency, so I'll just leave that there for him. Uh, this one goes to Commissioner Lopez. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Sir, congratulations. Thank you, sir. This is to me. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Okay. Um, item number seven, administration of the oath of office to the winners of the May 12th and 12th general election. Okay. Um, before, I know uh, Judge Arthur Donelson's here, is going to be Commissioner Lopez and Daniel Renfro is going to minister mine. <clears throat> but before we take the oath, I'd just like to say that, um, that as everyone in this room is aware, there wasn't an election. And the reason, in my opinion, there wasn't, is this group of commissioners here 
has worked very, very well together. And I think it's the first time in the port's history that the three incumbents have not faced opposition. It's one of the three that's not faced opposition. And I think it's very telling how, how well this group works together, that we're on the same page as far as, as I believe that we need to run the court very conservatively, that we reduce taxes at least four years for some of y'all, six or, or eight, six or seven years. And I think in total, yeah, we've 15 years. 17 years. And so we want to continue that um, before in the last four or five years has had a profit every year. And this, this group of commissioners strongly believes in reinvesting in the port. We spent millions of dollars on infra in infrastructure and in equipment and doing things that we need to make this port a better place to do business and to grow. And I think we've been very good stewards of the taxpayers' money as a group. And uh, I know that, that we will continue to do so. And uh, I think all of us, I mean, I'll maybe I'll back out with Commissioner Cowan, Commissioner Rambo, Commissioner Lopez, and Commissioner Massa all deserve a round of applause for everything that they do for the support. Do you have anything to say? Um, I think you pretty much covered it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, then, you'll be the first one up. You sure? You yeah, no, no, here. You Thank go. you. I think we have a judge waiting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, just, no, just stand, right, stand right up there. In the uh, middle right there. In the middle right there, yeah. Commissioner. The Brownsville Navigation District. Of the Brownsville Navigation District. Of Cameron County, Texas. Of Cameron County, Texas. Place three. Place three. Of the state of Texas. Of the state of Texas. And will, to the best of my ability. And will, to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend. The Constitution and laws of the United States. The Constitution and laws of the United States. And of this state. And of this state. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. to um, nominate uh, Commissioner Lopez as our next chairman. Second that. Okay. Move and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Commissioner Lopez, Thank congratulations, you, sir. sir. Yes, sir. This is your spot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is yours and this is mine. 
Thank you, Mr. Reed. <laughs> they don't. They didn't give me a gavel, so I just no, get the pencil. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to nominate the commissioner Maso, uh, as vice chair. I'll second that nomination. So All those in favor? Yeah. yeah. Aye. 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 Congratulations. Congratulations. Ah, great switch. make a nomination uh, to nominate uh, Commissioner Arambula as uh, Secretary of the Board. I'll second the nomination. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank so, you. I'll go over here and I'll go over. Poor <laughs> <laughs> Donna switching. That's okay. Switching. <laughs> Donna here. Thank you, Consideration and action on the adoption of the secretary's certificate and resolution to govern the handling of account and approve the signature cards for the district's demand deposit accounts and savings accounts. As we uh, have elections, we catch up on things. We have a couple of staff days we need to add into the cards, as well as we will now uh, put the different uh, officials in their, in their proper places. If you will approve them, um, there's some information about that in the packet. Uh, the bank will have the ready and the deepest group. Mr. Chairman. Motion. I'll second. Second by Commissioner Reed. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item number 10, consideration and action on approval of memorandum of understanding between the City of Brownsville and Port of Brownsville regarding welcome sign on the public property. Mr. Chairman, members of the Commission, this is an item that was tabled at a prior meeting. Um, the language that you all requested to reflect uh, should the uh, sign become uh, in disrepair and need to be removed, that it can be removed and uh, the method of notification and even to the extent that uh, a responsibility for the cost of removal will be put. So that language is acceptable. Uh, the memorandum is, is there now for your consideration. Perfect. Uh, any questions? Commissioner? I'll make a motion. Motion by Commissioner Reed. I'll second it. Second by Commissioner Mosk. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We'll go ahead and make the changes and finalize it for your signature, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you. Item 11, executive session. Uh, if I could just say a, a couple of words. Uh, I want to thank all the commissioners for having, having I'm humbled that they, they think that I, I Served uh, as the chairman, uh, so it's going to be a new experience for me. Uh, the good thing is that I have three past chairmen that will <laughs> kind of help me out to go you know, in the right direction. Uh, like I said, I might make some mistakes, but they'll be here to orient me in the in the right right way to go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, item 12. We have no action on that. Item 13. Public comment. Nope. Looks like you're gonna break the record. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's long. Item 14, adjourned. Most stumbled, Mr. Second. Thank you all for coming. <laughs>